This is an eSIM. Well, not really because this is a card or rather pamphlet that contains your unique QR code for your eSIM when you actually purchase one at least here in Kenya. But before we get to it, in this video, I'll briefly cover what an eSIM is, how to get and actually download one to your device, and lastly, why would you even want to get one when you can always get a physical SIM card that actually works the same, so stay tuned. Well, an eSIM is a digital SIM that stands for Embedded Subscriber Identity Module that allows you to use your carrier services like data and voice and SMS without actually having to install a traditional physical SIM card on your phone. It's securely embedded in your phone and you can't actually take it out. In other countries, this technology might be developed enough, but here in my country, at least in my knowledge, Safaricom and Fiber are the only carriers that support that and this is only limited to a few phones as of now. If you happen to have an iPhone XR and above, you are sorted. On the other side of the spectrum, most Android phones like the latest Samsung and Google Pixels offer eSIM support, but I'll leave links to a full list of devices and more about eSIM if you wanna check it out. In Kenya, this goes for 150 Kenya shillings at Safaricom, one of the biggest carrier service providers here. While it's sold on all Safaricom outlets as far as I know, it's not supported on all phones, so before you hop on to get one, check first if your phone supports it. Again, as of now, the list is limited, and if you have one of these devices, you're officially sorted. I'm saying officially because I have a Google Pixel 6 Pro that is not officially sold here in Kenya. I actually imported it, that's a video for another day, but long story short, it has eSIM support and it's not listed as one of the supported phones on Safaricom's website, but surprisingly, it works with the carrier. More on that in a few. Back to this card thing, inside you get your unique QR code, mine's blurred out for security reasons but this is what you get. Alongside it you find your pins and PUKs that lets you unlock your identity just like you'd find on a regular physical card. Now that we've seen that, let's add it on my phone and see the process in case you decide to get yours. This process is mostly similar on all supported phones but I'll show you how to do it on a Google Pixel 6 Pro. First of all open the settings app. Tap on Networks and Internet. Next, tap on this plus button to add another SIM and that will take you to another page where you'll have to follow the instructions provided. Once you get here, hit Download eSIM instead. Hit Next and follow instructions until it's done. And just as simple as that, you have your eSIM installed on your phone. You can always delete the loaded eSIM anytime if you want to download it on another phone because it won't work on two or more phones at a time. So why would you want to switch to an eSIM in the first place? First of all, the eSIM will allow you to have more than one carrier network on your phone, making it easier to manage your personal and business lines in case you don't want to carry two phones for that matter. Secondly, if you travel a lot, you can get an eSIM for that other country loaded to your phone without actually removing your main SIM card in it, which is super convenient. And with phones that only include a single SIM slot, this cuts down on the space inside your phone for other things and also makes it easier for water and dust resistance certifications. There are also rumors that the future iPhones won't have SIM slots and I think we are getting there so it's good to adapt earlier. I'm sure there are a lot of pros and cons to this type of technology so again check for links in the description for more information. Now that you've downloaded your eSIM on your phone, in my opinion, it's a cool implementation that will eventually lead us to drop physical SIM cards, but until it's fully available, you are better off with your physical SIM card unless you want to try it out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like, leave your questions in the comment sections, and subscribe for more regular tech videos just like this one. Anyway, that's it. This is Philip's Future. Goodbye and most of all, stay safe.